This is a textbook, all in one textbook question bank with answer plus lab manual. If you want to order, please contact this number or you can go to the Avenue Road, the Sapna Book House. They will be having this book. So please grab your copy and send your feedback to my comment section. Now we are going to start with the topic now. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to start chapter 6, Searching. Very, very important concept because we may expect definite five mark question from this chapter and we are going to learn two lab program also from this chapter. And this topic, what are the topics to be discussed? So, there are searching and its types and what are the meaning of linear searching and in, in case if you are taking the linear searching, we are going to learn the algorithm, tracing and the lab program. Again, the binary, binary search also, we are going to learn what are the meaning of binary search what is the working process, which means the tracing, algorithm and lab program. And also we are having hashing and collision technique. So these are the concepts we are going to learn from this chapter. So every day I am going to teach you one one searching technique. So what is the meaning of searching? Searching is something which you lost, you are going to find out, right? Or which you want to find out something. Right. So, for example, it's a busy morning, you are rushing to college. So, what it will happen? Many times you forget your pen or book. So, in that situation, what you will do? You will start checking your bag, your study table or different rooms and every possible places where you might have left it. Right. And many times I can see my students always they are doing the same thing in my class. They will keep on searching their pen and their notebook every time. And they start looking around, checking every desk and corner. So this act only we can call it as searching. You are going to try to locate something and find out where is that, right? That is called searching. So now if you are taking two kind of situation, sometimes you know exactly where to look. Like your pen, always it will be there in your pouch, right? So you can go directly and take your pouch and take your pen. But sometimes if you don't remember where you kept it, in this situation what it will happen? You are going to check every room, every place, you no, know, one by one until you find it, right? That uh, There are two situations in that. So this is what exactly we are going to learn today. And one such method of searching only, we can call it as a linear search. So linear search technique only we are going to learn today, okay? What is the meaning of linear search? It is exactly like saying, like you are going to check each item one by one until you find it, okay? That is called a linear search. And next type of searching, we can call it as a binary search. Binary search, we will discuss later. Now, the next concept is importance of searching. So, this is a general importance. It's not related to any of the searching techniques. So, quickly you can identify your specific data. So, you can quickly identify if you know where it is exactly, right? And used in databases. What is the meaning of databases? Last class only we had discussed about SQL. So, yes, SQL also you can use the searching technique, right? And search engine, what is the meaning of search engine? When you want to search any browser history, where, you know, if you find out any useful information, one week back, I want to search where it is exactly, then you are going to check in the browser history. That is called a search engine also, you can use the search. And file system, file system means where you are saving your, you know, file in any location in your laptop. So then you have to keep on checking the folders and files and find out, right, where your data is. So that is called file system. So all this, it will be helpful and required for real-time application and programs are becoming more efficient and accessible to users. So these are all the general importance of the searching. And you can look into that here, the searching, how it is happening. I want to find out the 23. Now you can see where it is. If you have a list, contains the element and it will start from the first index and it is keep on moving from the second one, third one, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh and yet finally you found your, you know, where, what you are looking for, right? So this is what the linear search technique will be working. So the main working process of the linear searches, it is just, uh, you know, it is a very simplest searching technique and it checks each element individually. And it stopped once the key is found. You can see here 23 is found out. Then after that it stopped searching, right? 
and the search will not be successful if the key is not found. For example, I want to search here the 60, the number 60. But number 60 is not present in the list, right? So obviously what it will happen? It will reach till 59, the 16th element. After that, it will just stop it, okay? And the sequence also, it will start from beginning until end of the list, it is going to search it, okay? And another name of this, searching technique we can call it as sequential search or serial search this is very important they may ask you in one marker okay sequential search or serial search and is it is suitable for small and unordered list unordered list means it, it is not necessary you have to it should be in order okay one two three four five like that it is not necessary it should be in the sorting order it can be an unordered list clear now this is what the linear search working method and now next I am going to teach you what is the algorithm. So algorithm, very important. Now linear search is my name of my function. And I am creating here num list is my list name. And key, what is the meaning of key here? What I am going to search for. So according to this example, 23 is my key. Okay. So key is a 23. What is the meaning of n? n is nothing but the length of the list okay after that step one set index equal to zero why i am setting the index is equal to zero means i have to start search from the zero index right so that is what index equal to zero after that you are creating the while loop now because i want to search one by one till length of the list so index should be less than n so it has to start from the zero index and it has to move till the last, right, right, this one. So that is what you have given here, Y index is less than N. If it is less than N, you are going to repeat step 3. What is the step 3? If num list of index, what is the num list? Num list is nothing but, see for example, you can consider this is the num list. And num list of, num list of index, what is the index here? Index is first time, it is zero. If num list of index 0 equal to key. So, according to this situation, 23 is my key. So, 0 it is checking now, right? So, what it will happen? It is not equal to 23. So, what it will happen? Then, you are going to, if it is equal to key means, you are going to print element found at position and index plus 1. What is the index plus 1 means? It is finding out with the first position. Okay? We are not mentioning the index. Which position it is there? So, it is in the first position, right? Otherwise, you are going to index equal to index plus 1. Which means index, if it is not there in the first position, it will move on to the next position and start searching. Clear? After that, just step 4, print search unsuccessful. Very, very easy algorithm for the linear search. Now, we will we'll do the tracing here. Okay, this is a question. Like, consider a list of 5 elements. And I have given the list of elements here and you have to do the comparison of linear search. And what is the key is? Key is minus 1 here. Okay. And uh, this is a tracing. So now I have mentioned here the index value and whatever the elements I have mentioned it here. So this is the table you have to form. One is the index. Index is less than n. Because whatever is there in the algorithm I have mentioned here. Index is less than n. And num list of index equal to key. That also I have given. And the last one is index equal to index plus 1. Clear? Now we are going to do the tracing. What is the index? First it will start with 0, right? Because you are setting the index as what? 0 you are setting it. So index equal to 0. Next index is less than n. What is index is less than n? 0. And what is n here? n is nothing but how many elements? So n is nothing but 5 elements are there. So 5 is the n. After that, num list of index. What is the num list of index? Num list of index is nothing but 0, right? So, num list of 0 is what? So, it is nothing but 2. It is going to write the element now. So, 2 is equal to minus 1. The condition is not true because 2 is not equal to minus 1. So, what it will be happening? It is a false. If it is false, according to this, it, if it is a false, it will go to the else statement. What is index equal to? Index plus 1. So, what is the index now? 0. So, 0 plus 1 is 1. Clear? Now, the cursor will be here. Index 1. So, index 1 now. So, 1 is less than 5, the condition is true. Now, if the condition is true, the num list of index. What is num list of index? It is here, 3. So, 3 equal to minus 1. This is also not correct. Then, you are going to increment the index. Now, it is 2. So, here it will be there. Okay. Now, what is the next one? 
It is 2 here. The index will be in 2. Now, 2 is less than 5. The condition is true again. And what is this here? Minus 1. So, minus 1 equal to minus 1. The condition is true now, correct? So, the condition is true. Then, it will come out from the loop. And it has mentioned what? Element found at position index plus 1. What is index plus 1? 2. Already 2. So, what is the index plus 1? is 3. Which means in the third position, it is there. This is the first position. I am not mentioning the index. I am mentioning the position. So, this is the first position, second position and third position. So, third position, the index is found. And if you want to mention the index, what is the index? 2 only. So, you can mention only index, not index plus 1. So, here index only you have to give, not index plus 1. If you want to mention the index. But position, if you want to mention, you have to give index plus 1. Understood? And how many comparison has done? 1, 2, 3. So, after 3 comparison, you found the position at the third position. Understood now? How to do the tracing? This is what you have to do the tracing. Okay, this is a program of linear search and you can use this for theory as well as lab program. And I made it very simple program and if you bought the book already of mine, this book, uh, no, this program will be there at the page number 377 and I made it as, uh, no, menu driven program which includes the linear search and binary search. Okay, but I have included the NCRT book program also in my book. So, those who brought already, just check the program at the last page, okay. And this is the program and the L is nothing but name of my list and I am using the eval function. Eval function is nothing but if you are giving the value in the form of tuple, it will accept as a tuple, which means you have to use normal bracket. If you are giving square bracket, it will accept as a square bracket. And I am creating L outside the function, which means I created L as a global variable. Global variable is nothing but you can access anywhere in the program. Okay. After that, I am creating a function DES and linear is my function name. I am not passing any argument here. After that, key I am going to get it. Key, instead of key, I have mentioned x here. So, x equal to int of input of enter the number you want to search. After that, n equal to len of l. Which means, length of l, I am storing it in n. After that, I am creating a for loop here for i in range of n. What is n? Till the last value, you are going to search it, right? And if l of i, instead of num list of i, I have mentioned l of i equal to equal to x. If the condition is true, then print L. I am printing the L. I want to check the list. This statement is an optional. You can remove that also. Okay. And print found position at I plus 1. As I told you, right, I plus 1 means the position plus 1. Okay. And you are going to break the loop. Once it's finding out the position, it will not you know, continue further. It will just break the loop. Otherwise, else. Okay. Here you can see I used else statement here. I am not using the else statement for if. I am using else statement for for loop here. So, in Python for loop you can create the else. Okay. What is it meaning? For loop else, it is an optional else class. Okay. Which is the executor only if loop completed normally. If your loop is completely normally if, you're, if it is completed, then the else statement will be executed. Okay. If you are mentioning break, then else statement will be not be executed. Clear? So, according to this situation, if the for loop, if it is not finding out any position, then what it will happen? It will reach n value, right? Which means it is completely it is finding out. After that, it will do the L statement not found. But when the position is finding out, you are giving the break statement. That time not found will not work. Understood? Again, I will repeat it. So, else clause, you are using it for for loop. So, how the else clause will be working? If the for loop, if it reaches the condition completely, then the else clause will work. If you are giving a break statement, else clause will not work. But according to this situation, if you find the position in one particular position, then you are breaking the loop and giving the value as found position. But if the number is not there in the list, then it will reach till n. After that, the for loop is completely over. Then the else statement will execute. Now, let's run the program. I'm going to do both. You are going to find out the position also, not finding out the position also. I'm giving the list format here. 1, 2, minus 1 and 7. Enter the number you want to search. 
I am giving here minus 1. You can see here form at position 3. 1 to 3rd position you are finding it out. Now again I run the program. Now I am giving here the same number 1, comma, 2, comma, minus 1 and 7. Now I am giving the number as 8. Now see not found. Now do you know the difference? Why are we using else clause? Okay, if you have any question, post your question in the comment section. I will reply to your answer. And uh, know those who didn't buy my book, please you can you know, look into that. I will show you this. So this is my book which has textbook, book question bank with answer and lab manual. I have made it very very simple sentence and point wise explanation. If you want to order it, you can call this person or it will be available in Sapna Book House Avenue Road. You can go directly and get the book. Okay. And once you got the book, please give your you know, feedback in your comment section. So thank you so much. Next class, we are going to see the next researching technique. And please subscribe my channel.